I just wanted to, you know, quickly uh, react to the fact that we had several killings too in the southeast. The sit at home order by the indigenous people of Biafra was, were on, an unknown, yes. unknown uh, gunmen. How do you think all of these activities might affect the 2023 general election? Very quickly. We, we have to rein in the boys who are killing people for fun in the southeast. We have to find a way to put an end to the madness that is going on there. You can't say people should sit at home. When IPOP, that instituted the sit at home uh, order, already I said, look, uh, it is only on the days that Kano is brought to court that people should sit at home. So how, how, how do you then enforce sit at home? When the person who started it has said, no, on uh, Mondays, people should go to work, except if Kano is being taken to court. So uh, cultists and other undesirable elements have taken over. And now a lot of our friends can hardly even go to the South. Some of them are in Abuja, you know, because they don't want to die. They are targeting politicians. So I, I think that the governors of the Southeast can do a better job of protecting the people than they are doing. It's like the governors have given up. Some of them are even distracted. They are not facing uh, real governance. And the armed forces have to strengthen their hands in these areas. I'm, I'm happy with the, one of the arrests that we made lately, but it has to continue. It has to continue if we are to um, keep that area safe right. and be in position to have uh, uh, free and fair elections in uh, in the southeast. Hopefully, right. what happened during the Anambra election will happen again because before the Anambra election, IPOP gave the directive for people to go and vote. We, we we didn't know that IPOP would take that decision, but in the end, he told the people to go and vote, and um, there was no violence on election day. So hopefully. Um, we will see this uh, during the general election. 